Hey, gang, and welcome back to the all-new Talk in the Orville. We are here to celebrate, really, the fact that we are just a few months away from the Orville going into production for season four. 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 I guess I got to do it one more time. Four. That's four fours, you guys. Do you think the Orville should be renewed for a multi-season deal from Disney. It really looks like we're going to be getting the fourth season of the Orville by Disney again. Disney loves the Orville. They just had to get their 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 things straight, their, their business straight. Things were tough for a while. But with the exciting news of the Orville coming back for a fourth season, we're worried. Lots of us are worried. I get comments all the time. Uh, I see them on the social medias all the time. Will Adrian Palicki return? People say, oh, she's not returning. She said so uh, on that podcast, Inside of You podcast. Well, she never said she wasn't returning, but she did make it seem like she wasn't interested in returning, which can mean a lot of things. Adrian Palicki had a lot of gripes that were legitimate gripes. As we know, the Orville takes a long time to make more Orville. She's an actor on the show, The Orville. She loves acting. She loves uh, the the production. She loves the story. She loves the cast. She loves the crew. She loves the fan. She loves the role. She loves, 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 loves. The one thing she doesn't love is not being able to play the role as often as she would like. She got bills to pay. We all got bills to pay, Jack. And at the time when she gave that interview, uh, there was no uh orville acting to be done uh but she really hasn't been doing much she's been released from her contract a couple years ago and you go on indb there's not much going on under the adrian palicki uh title uh and a lot of the other actors as well why because acting is a tough gig to get Uh, i was just watching i've been watching modern family every now and again that was a huge show modern family the cast was incredibly famous. Go and look and see if any of them, any of those famous people from Modern Family have been doing much of anything. Sofia Vergara, uh, a host on uh, uh, America's Got Talent, uh, a little role here or there that no one's really talking about because acting is a tough gig. And there's a lot of people trying to do it. So they, 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 they want to get back on their show, The Orville. Adrian, being an actor who wants to act, who loves the role of Kelly Grayson, I think will absolutely return for season four of The Orville, you guys. What do you guys think? I think you are probably hopeful as I am, but man, do I get a lot of comments about Adrian not returning. And I'm like, she never said she wasn't returning. Uh, if anything, uh, being a little, uh, uh, what's the term? not skeptical, a little hesitant in saying, yes, I can't wait to come back, is a great way to let the studios know that she wants a better contract for next time. And I think she's going to get a better contract for next time (laughs) when the Orville starts production in just a few months. I think so. A lot of things that people were kind of timid about, uh, especially timid about announcing new shows and new seasons, was the, the strikes. Um the acting strikes and the writer strikes and the strikes were needed because this whole streaming world that television lives in now, they don't play by the same rules as they did when they're back on regular television on primetime channels and on cable, all the rules about how to treat people nicely and correctly. Those were written for those other platforms. The new platform of streaming didn't have rules on how to be nice to people yet. So, the streaming services were kind of taking advantage of that. And the actors are like, no, time to renegotiate what it means to be an actor. And they did that. And so now uh, as as the dust has settled, these streaming services are getting back to making uh, shows and renewing shows. They've renewed the Orville. A lot of people didn't think it would happen. They didn't think there'd be a season two. They definitely didn't think there'd be a season three. And then they didn't think there'd be a season four. But guess what? We're getting all those things. Well, we got two and three, and now we're going to be getting season four. But I'm hoping for season five, season six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. I always got to go up to 12. Alyssa says, Adrian has been promoting the show. Let's put this on the screen. This is a good one. Uh, uh, Adrian has been promoting the show pretty heavily at conventions. Yes, she has. I don't think she'd do that if she knows she's not coming back. I think some of her, um, it's possible. I mean, I don't know for sure. But I think that some of her uh, comments that she made about making people think that she might not come back to the show, though she never said that she wasn't coming back. Uh, even though people tell me that she did, I'm like, just watch the clips. She never said that. Watch the interview. Um, I think it was just a negotiating tactic. It's very smart, very clever. Make it sound like she's not necessarily a 100% get means that they will try harder to get her a contract that she's more happy with and probably get everyone else a contract that they're all very happy with. Kelly is my favorite character on the show. And I know, you know, everyone's got their favorites. Bordis, Gordon is an easy favorite of, of many people. For me, the 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 human element is has always been Kelly. Uh, her character story, the way her character is, she's the grounded one. She's the one that's not going to go do something crazy and, and silly. You know, the fun things that, that the show, even when she does do something very human, getting a little uh, uh, a little drunk and then having a hangover while going on, on a mission. She was still cool doing her job, even though she probably shouldn't have uh, exposed uh, technology to an um, infer inferior society of people that were, you know, back in, God, I don't even think this, the silver era, silver era at that point, or the bronze era at that point. Uh, the Orville is the only science fiction show that is upholding um, the, the, the Gene Roddenberry sci-fi system. Stories that, that make you think very high, high science fiction concepts, uh, just with a little bit of added humor, a la Seth MacFarlane. It's understandable from her perspective, as great as the Orville is, a show of its scale and budget takes a long time to start a production. Absolutely. And she's an actor and she wants to act. And she's very good at acting uh, for the role of Kelly Grayson. Um, I think together, us as the fandom can make sure that Adrian Palicki comes back uh, for season four. I think she's going to do it anyway. Uh, it's a great role. Nothing else is going on. Why wouldn't she come back? That would that would just be uh, uh, a dumb thing to, to, to not do, not do another season of the Orville. Uh, that would be bad for her career, I think. But I think we can assure that she comes back to us by just letting her know how much we love her. Adrian Palicki, you are such a great addition to the Orville. I think the Orville w couldn't exist properly without the character of Kelly Grace in there to watch over uh, the crew, uh, the missions, the adventures, make sure that Ed Mercer stays on track. Uh, it's just such a great character. Bring back Derulio. I mean, it might be a little rough at first, but we'd all love to see Derulio again, see what's going on with that situation. Zan says, Kelly was so quick to say Orville is over and begin moving on. And also criticized Seth's writing process a bit. So I figure she moved on mostly. Well, she said that. I think just think she was in a bad mood because of the topic. And the and and you know, people say people say stuff like that. And she and it, it and what she said about Seth wasn't really so bad when you just hear it. Because when I first heard it, I was like, oh, that is rude. And then I listened to it again. I'm like, oh, it's not that rude. It's not as rude as I thought it was. Uh, after I re-listened to it and just took my emotions out of it. Uh, but not much further after she had that interview, after the interview was released, she was out there at sci-fi conventions promoting the Oroville. Uh, just a month or two ago, she was interviewed at a convention, and she said, fingers crossed for season four. And, uh, you know, and, you know, people... People get into a mood, uh, <laughs> which she has the right to do, or she can make it sound like, oh, God, I'm so sick of how long it's taking uh, for, for us to be able to work. But now it's time to work. So she's probably very happy. I'm sure if she gave the interview again today, it'd be a very different tone. 